Hey everyone, welcome to another video in my everyday plant-based series. We will be making a delicious pumpkin nourish for today that is all whole foods, there is no oil, refined sugars or anything, so it's incredibly healthy. You're going to love it, I promise it's not a regular nourish bowl, it's quite simple but it's amazing, you'll see. Before that though, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe, thank you guys. To start off, let's cut up the pumpkin. I'm using butternut pumpkin today and I love it because it's so sweet when roasted but you can definitely use other types of squash or pumpkin too. Feel free to also leave the skin on for more fibre and texture but for this recipe I peeled it off. Then scrape out the pumpkin seeds and transfer them into a bowl. You can discard them but I like to toast the seeds and add it into the nourish bowl too which I'll show you guys shortly. So cut the pumpkin up into bite sized pieces, mine were about 2-3 to cm cubes. Transfer them into a baking sheet lined with baking paper. Gather them in the centre because we're going to season it with 1 teaspoon of garlic powder, salt and some black pepper. I like to roast my veggies without oil but you can definitely add in some if you want to. Roast the butternut at 180 degrees celsius for 40 minutes or until it's golden and tender. We're going to make some green basil pesto sauce now to mix in with the quinoa. It's going to give the quinoa some extra flavour and life. Feel free though to use a store-bought pesto but personally I find it hard to source a good vegan one. At the chopping board, peel 4 garlic cloves and cut a lime or lemon in half. For this recipe, I like to eyeball the ingredients. It's super easy to make because we're just throwing everything into the food processor, so do adjust it to how you like it. I added in 2 cups of fresh basil leaves, a quarter cup of pine nuts, 4 garlic cloves, a squeeze of half a lemon, a quarter cup of nutritional yeast, a generous sprinkle of sea salt and a quarter teaspoon of white miso. Blend everything until combined and the basil leaves should be chopped up. For this pesto, I'm using veggie stock to loosen it up but feel free to use olive oil. Adjust the pesto according to how you like it. Add more nutritional yeast to make it more cheesy. When done, pour the pesto into a jar or a small bowl. I actually made this for my sister who was craving this bowl ever since I made it many years ago. The other day she randomly called me and was like, do you remember that pumpkin and quinoa recipe you made ages ago? It was so out of the blue and unexpected that it took me a very long time to figure out what she was referring to. Anyway, the last time I made it for her I wasn't plant based so I bought the pesto sauce that wasn't vegan so I couldn't use it this time. So I made my own, she loved the homemade vegan pesto which is great and it's so much healthier. I like to cook my quinoa with one part quinoa to two parts water in a pot. Bring it all to a boil and let it simmer with low heat until all of the water has been absorbed by the quinoa. Fluff it up with a fork and you can place a lid on top of the pot when done to make it fluffier. When that's done, I'm going to toast the pumpkin seeds. Place the seeds into a colander and run water through it to remove the flesh. Line a baking sheet with baking paper and bake the seeds for 20 to 30 minutes or until they're crunchy. When the pumpkin seeds are done, the pumpkin itself should just be about done so take them out to serve. For the nourish bowl, add in the quinoa first then add in the basil pesto, mixing it through. You can use the pesto as a dressing instead, but I really like to mix it in with the quinoa. I recommend adding one teaspoon of pesto at a time to adjust it to your preference, but you should see green throughout the quinoa. Then add in the roasted pumpkin and we're going to bring some freshness into the bowl with a handful of baby spinach. Also, don't forget the toasted pumpkin seeds and a wedge of lime. Hey there, thank you for watching our video. We love nourish bowls, we think there's an art to combining different components into a bowl to create something that is delicious, healthy and wholesome. Check out our playlist which we've linked up here. Thank you guys so much for your time again.